when people flake on plans like it's not that hard to keep plans when people make me feel bad for flaking out on plans that's why i just don't make them anymore yeah when people try to micromanage me it's disgusting when i'm on wikipedia just reading stuff and then i find a word that really intrigues me but then when i go to click on it there's no hyperlink when people take the dvd out of its case and then just leave it just out my biggest pet peeve is when i'm trying to explain my beliefs to someone who disagrees with me and then they don't change their minds like don't get me wrong i very much believe in people having their own views and opinions obviously but i want them to believe what i believe yeah when people are kind yuck kindness is for sissies get out of here you weaklings do you seriously hate it when people are kind yep filth but don't you think that kindness makes the world a better place? Whose standard of better are you basing that on? Hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe kindness isn't for everyone. That. That's my pet peeve. What, you're just going to give up on what you believe just like that? But I thought that... Nah, you didn't think. That's the problem. When I bring a friend to a party with me and then they leave without saying thank you to the host? What am I supposed to do with that? My biggest pet peeve is when people interrupt what I'm doing to bring me into a room and ask me pointless questions. When people complain to me about a problem and so I tell them how to fix it and then they do nothing about it but continue to complain. People need to understand that I'm right most of the time and they shouldn't come to me unless they're willing to submit to my enormous intellect. When people have like schedules that they use to like plan their lives. What is that? When I ask someone a question about themselves and they just give me a one word answer. Like, tell me about your soul. Pet peeve. Myself. I just keep disappointing myself. When people choose to play those secret identity card games where they have to deliberately enter conflict situations with their friends in order to discover who the evil person is? Why? Why would anyone with their own free will choose to enter an emotionally unsafe environment like that? It deeply disturbs me. Stupidity. It's everywhere. Would you like to elaborate on that? Our entire society is built on flimsy ideals that lack consistency and are fundamentally incompatible with one another, yet no one questions them. The media is tainted with hidden agendas, and yet everyone believes what the news tells them. That's why I've resorted to living in a bunker in the mountains until I finish my plan to assume ultimate control of uncleanliness. Would you like to elaborate on that? No, I think I was pretty clear. Mm -hmm.